of the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Okay, please, let me just have your attention before we honor Pastor. Whilst I entered, I just, I felt a strong, very strong healing anointing while Minister Dunsin was just ministering. And every time, every time you sense the move of the Spirit in this manner, it is wise to respond to what God is doing. I was glad, he said, when they said unto me, is it all right if I just speak over people who are trusting God for very strong palpable grace to heal the sick and to lift up burdens just help those under the anointing in the name that is above all names i pray over this place not only you came to church not only will the grace for healing rest upon you some of you are receiving unctions and mantles that are shifting you help them please you sang that the channels of your spirit open up i stretch my hands in the name that is above all names i decree and declare following right here and online all the centers i declare everyone sick in body be healed right now I bring you the ministry of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus be healed now migraine headaches be healed now blood con kabakato shaleka parakatosia blood conditions be healed now bone conditions be healed now every medical report that is a death sentence we tear it apart now in the name of jesus christ eye conditions of all sorts just help those under the anointing be healed right now the lord is healing a number of our sisters and ladies with all kinds of abdominal conditions the power of god is touching you right now every growth every devil in your body that should not be there we command it to exit your body now. Pain around the hand area. The Lord is healing someone right now. You came with severe pain. Severe pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'll not take too much of your time. I'm seeing a woman in a vision will be seated shortly, but I'm seeing God is showing me someone one, two, three, four, five. Five years. You're trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that person? Five years. If there's such a person, please make sure that you fit this description. Let there be order in the house of God. The Lord is asking me to pray for that person. Who is that? We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here. The woman I'm talking about is wearing blue. You are wearing a blue dress. Set our heart. Please get something and so you will do what you do. We need a move. We need 
madam what's your name it's please stand up i'm not hold on please can you help her so that she doesn't i'm going to pray for you don't just come out at random where are you from edo state who is mercy mercy what's your name no hold on i'm not talking about um there's somebody called mercy i'm going to pray for you mercy you are wearing blue you are in, not up to who is there someone like that the lord wants come your life is about to change my dear what do you do can we have another mic sir is it is it okay this is what happens when you come to the house of god what's your name my dear mercy don't cry look at me the lord is saying i should tell you remember not the former things nor consider the things of old in this season the lord is doing a new thing in your life and even in your family i stretch my hands by the god of heaven and i pray by the power of the holy spirit shift to a new level help her please shift to a new level in the name of jesus christ my sister give her the mic who is blessing my wardrobe consultant. Uh-uh. I didn't say what do you do. What's your name? Blessing, Sarah Oyinkat. That's why I said, who is blessing? I want to pray for you. There is something the Lord wants to take out of your stomach. I hope you are not embarrassed. Huh? Because you have been crying and praying. And you yes. had a dream. And part of your prayer was that you will meet me today. Is that true? Yes, sir. This is what you were praying about. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. It's not about me. Just like our father has taught us. We are only agents that make these things happen by the spirit. I want to pray for every one of you here. That you will, by this time, recharge 2022. In the name that is above all names. The power of God will come on one of you. And then that grace for fruitfulness will just rest. The conference says multiply. This is what the Lord is showing me. Don't mind me. Let me just do my crazy thing on the stage here. The power of God now. One of you in front. Right now. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. Among those who are standing here. That is the sign God is giving me. For the healing power of Jesus Christ. To flow to these people. Thank you Jesus. Right now in the name that is above all names. I decree and I declare from my left to my right, even by the leading of the Spirit, let there be supernatural healing. I don't care what the medical condition is. In the name that is above all names. Madam, is your husband here? Call him. Don't feel embarrassed, husband. I want to pray for you. This is not even about fruit of the womb. This is God lifting him who is, is wearing like ox blood this is what I'm saying is there someone like you're her husband what do you do sir business no just hold them don't give them the mic if you give them the mic they won't give you back well, you do business do you believe in Jesus one two three count three months from today you will come and stand on this altar the way God will change your life it will surprise you and as I'm speaking to him by the spirit, I declare over everyone here, everything keeping you in the same position. By prophecy, we push you into the next level. We push you into the next level. We push you into the next level. No power in existence will stop you from making progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I speak to you and your wife as the Lord has revealed to me in the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Help her. That is the end of captivity in the name of Jesus. I pray for every one of you standing here, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name that is above all names, I join my faith with your pastor the angel over this house and we prophesy to you according to the time of life return with miracle children according to the time of life return with miracle children in the name of jesus christ please return back to your seat rejoicing 
Hallelujah. You're going to be seated, but the Lord is asking me to release the grace for speed. Truly, there is such a grace that can make people and bring acceleration. Dominion over time is real dominion. You can have dominion over things, but the zenith of dominion is dominion over time because the unit of destiny is time. Hallelujah. I pray for you. Now, please, whether you are an usher or not, you don't have to bring them out, but just help them because people will begin to run as I pray. This is a character of the administration of disgrace and so that there's no chaos. Father, over Global Impact Church, the centers connected and those who are following from around the world, there are men and women here in ministry, in business, who are trusting God for speed. I stand by the privilege of the election of grace and I stretch my hands over you. Global Impact Church, the membership in the name of Jesus and everyone who has come to celebrate at this recharge conference, may the mantle and the grace for speed rest upon you. Take that grace now. Help them please. Take that grace now. Please help this woman. Take that help. Speed. 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 In business. Dominion over time. Dominion over time. Dominion over time. I declare speed. No delay. Speed. Ten years. Help her. Help that woman. Help that woman please. 10 years in one year, 10 years in one year, one year in one month, 10 years in one year, in the name of Jesus, hear me, and every power that has tied you down, so that you will not move forward, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we command them destroyed now, we command them destroyed now, speed in ministry, Speed in business, speed in achievement. Please open your mouth in one minute and receive it. Receive it as a prophetic word. Go ahead. The righteousness of faith speaks. Receive it, you came to church. Let it be so, let it be so, let it be so. That year at Recharge Conference, I was ignited. Speed to my destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please, thank you for your patience standing. I'd like you to join me one more time for this session. Honor the angel over this house and his precious wife, Pastor Yemi Davids. Thank you, sir. I do not take it for granted in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a few minutes. I just have a brief charge this morning. For Lorun Shaw, my God. For Lorun Shaw, what is this? I want to take time and preach the word, but the Lord is speaking to me again. I'm hearing the name for Lorun Shaw. Who is that? For Lorun Shaw. Those exact names. I will pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. There's someone with the name for Lorun Shaw. I just want to pray for you. If you're following online, you can indicate that you're following online or any of the centers. But the Lord is saying that death is averted for the person with this name, for Lauren Shaw. We are ministers of life and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, using this name as a point of contact to anyone here, 
if there is any spirit following you to not let you rest until you go down to the grave we decree and declare by reason of this service this morning you part ways with death completely in the name of Jesus my friend I pray for you may the Lord show you mercy may he lift you may he honor you he will grant you the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows in Jesus name God bless you good morning again hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I count it an honor one more time to be able to bring a final word from the Lord this service Luke chapter 19 please from verse 41 yesterday at my session we began to consider the fact that multiplication is part of the the indices for dominion that in giving the dominion mandate as revealed from Genesis 1 and verse 28 it says be fruitful multiply so multiplication is a requirement for every believer and everything that God created I told you that in God's character he does not bring harvests initially everything always comes as a seed alongside the grace for multiplication hallelujah praise the name of the Lord and we examine scriptures from the life of Abraham Isaac Jacob and how that a sworn blessing came upon them that included multiplication every time God declared a blessing upon men it was always captured in his pronunciations and his decrees the grace for multiplication amen this morning I just want to show us one key from scripture Jesus wept over Jerusalem and he said oh Jerusalem Jerusalem verse 42 it says if you had known even in this your day the things that make for your peace this was the reason why he wept twice the Bible records that Jesus wept the first was in John 11 35 at the grave of Lazarus the Bible says Jesus wept and they saw him weeping and say oh how he loved him and then the second occasion we find here Jesus weeping over the ignorance of men wept over Jerusalem and said if only you have known this day the things that make for your peace the things that make for your wholeness the things that make for your your perfection he says but now they are hidden from your eyes you now see the reason why Paul prayed a prayer in Ephesians chapter 1 over the church in Ephesus bowing his knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ he says that he will grant you the spirit of wisdom and revelation the eyes of your understanding being enlightened amplified says flooded with light that you may know knowledge is very important in this kingdom we rise up in this kingdom by revelation I went up by revelation hallelujah so it is important that we like spiritual archaeologists continue to search for the keys we call them mysteries the mysteries that control results last time I was here I spoke about the fact that God is a God of systems and that there is a name he is called Jesus the way the authorized methodology of the kingdom God's way of obtaining results it's not only important for us to desire results it is important for us to know how to obtain results are we together it says the labor of the fool weary yet every one of them because he does not know the road to the city Ephesians 4 18 having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their mind so Paul teaching the church in Colossae in chapter 1 Colossians 1 and verse 9 he began to pray that they be filled with three dimensions of knowledge number one that they be filled with the knowledge of his will number two all the dimensions of wisdom and number three spiritual understanding 
Are we blessed? Psalm 82 from verse 5. They know not, the Bible says, neither will they understand. It says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Verse 6 says, I have said, in spite of that tragedy, I have said, ye are gods and all, not some of you, are children of the Most High. The tragedy is in the next verse. It says, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. Light is very important. John 1, 5. It says, And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. It is truly as far as your eyes can see, not as far as is available, as far as your eyes can see. Isaiah 60 and verse 1. Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. I like to quote it all the time from Amplified. It says, arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life. We must pant after knowledge. We must pant after knowledge. Knowledge and illumination that is enough to turn every night to day. A candlestick can bring light but not enough to make nights to become day. The little phone on, the little light on your phone may give you some level of illumination, but not enough to turn your night to day. The secret of Job's exploit is found in Job chapter 29, the first four or five verses. It says, oh, that I was in the days of my youth, he began to contemplate at the height of his predicament. He says, when the secrets of the Lord were upon my tabernacle, he had two levels of light. There was light that shined upon his head and there was light that shined on his feet. The light that shines on your head is for illumination. The light that shines on your feet is for direction. Thy word, O Lord, is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. A lamp to your feet means guidance. A light to your path means direction. Direction tells you where to go. Guidance tells you how to get there. Sometimes you may not receive more than two or three directions in a year, but you need guidance every day. Knowing where you are going does not mean you will get there. You can tell me, open the door, turn left. That's direction. But if you tell me as you go down, you will meet a staircase. There is a skill to stepping down. That is guidance. The Bible says the word of God sustains the ability to both direct and guide. Are we together? An attack on your word life. An attack on your passion for spiritual illumination. An attack on your appetite for knowledge is a real attack. No matter what else you have, you are not secured if it did not come by knowledge. Knowledge is what gives security. Isaiah 33 that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. You will fear your result if it came by luck. The Bible says, He that strives for mastery is not crowned, except he strives lawfully. Are we blessed this morning? And so I want to show us just one key by the Spirit of the Lord, and we pray that will help us multiply results in our lives. There is a reason why people experience certain levels of liftings and they plateau at a level in ministry, in business, and never seem to rise further. Look, let's start with Matthew. Matthew 14. Three scriptures very quickly. Matthew chapter 14 from verse 13. Matthew 14 and verse 13. The Bible says Jesus departed by ship into a desert place. And when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot into the cities. And when Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude, the Bible says he was moved with compassion towards them. He healed their sick. Next verse. When it was evening, the disciples came to him saying, This is a desert place and the time is now past. Send the multitudes away that they may go into the villages 
and by themselves victuals. Next verse. But Jesus said unto them, they need not depart. Give ye them to eat. This is a prophetic word from someone. You don't need to leave Jesus for your needs to be met. It is always in his presence. The disciples were saying, this godliness is distracting your people from eating. Allow them to leave you for a while and go and look for food. And Jesus said, it doesn't work so. If my presence cannot give them this lifting, if, if my presence cannot supply food, then it cannot be found anywhere. This is a word of caution. This is not my word. But it's already a prophetic word for someone. Because many times the devil will try to negotiate and say, you know what? Paying attention to Jesus is making you lose out in life. Why don't you leave him temporary? Time is gone. This was a discussion that happened in the night. Time is gone. You started this journey when you were 10 years. Now you are 40. It looks like there's nothing to show for it. You are 50. There's not, why don't you leave Jesus? And Jesus says, no. They need not go. Right in my presence, I will supply their needs. Hmm. If it's not in your presence, if it's not from your hand, if it's not by your spirit, don't let me have it. For everything I need is in you. Whatever would require you leaving Jesus to have it is not needed for your destiny. I assure you, no matter how glittering and how flamboyant it looks, everything that will require you leaving his presence, I'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life i'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life i'll be here serving you all of the days of my life i'll be here serving you all of the days of my life it's a commitment i'll be here bowing down all of the days of my life i'll be here bowing down all of the days of my life the cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. The cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. Martha, Martha, you are worried and so frustrated about many things because you have been mentored into thinking it is when you leave his presence that you find these things. No. In his presence only, there is fullness of joy. And even the pleasure that you seek is found at his right hand. If you're with me, say amen. amen. So let's continue our discussion. I believe that was a word for someone. Please give us the scripture. Let's, let's read on. Luke, Matthew 14, it says, But Jesus said unto them, They need not depart, give ye them to eat. 17, And they say unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. 18, hallelujah. And Jesus says, Bring them hither to me. Jesus is teaching us here the secret of multiplication. I thought the secret of multiplication was to give thanks alone. Until one time I was studying and the Lord told me, no, the secret of multiplication is not to give thanks. The first secret of multiplication is surrendering everything you have first. You don't give thanks with it in your hands. You give thanks when it's in his hands. Bring them hither to me. Bring your financial limitation to me. 
bring the lack of influence to me you do not have the power to multiply it and the bible says 19 are we learning something this morning and he commanded the multitude to sit down that is the first key to multiplication you must find rest as proof that you trust me it's not merely just saying i thank you in anxiety anxiety is sin number one surrender your pain and everything to me put them in that alabaster box don't just bring pleasant things put your pain put your disappointment put everything at the alabaster box you don't break it at my feet standing he said sit down if you don't have the patience to sit down you will not eat bread from the master i know you are in a hurry because time is gone but find rest let it be that you trust me god is speaking to someone it's time to sit down it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow he gives his beloved sleep he spent a whole chapter talking on worry we live in a society that in an attempt to communicate responsibility they end up promoting anxiety people run from pillar to post woe betides a man who does not have the advantage of god's favor on his life you will labor helter skelter and only return with pain as a reward the bible says to walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise redeeming the time for the days are evil are we together now so he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass how many of you know a hungry man is an angry man you don't ask an angry man to sit down when he has not seen the bread all kinds of complaints already insensitive jesus you wasted our time now is night we have children the master commands sit down someone is saying lord i started a building project it's not finished i i need to go around I, I was told that there's someone i can meet and god is saying sit down three hours will with me will give you what a connection of 10 years cannot give you i want you to know the value of his presence and the value of finding rest there remaineth a rest for the lord's people next verse are we learning the principles so principle number one learn to hand over everything god does not say we should hand over only good things you hand over everything your pain your disappointment your glory your crown your shame everything so you come to him lord i see something that is prohibiting multiplication in my life and i come with my heart open will you help me i am the one you have shown mercy you have shown me mercy you have shown me mercy i am the one you have shown mercy you have shown me mercy you have shown me mercy by next week this will be someone's song that i'm the one that you have shown mercy you have shown me mercy you have shown me mercy when people ask you how did it happen you will tell them look i know that i was diligent but there is a part of this equation i don't know who completed the gap all i know is that i did my due diligence and god was introduced in the equation from then i don't know what happened all i know you see you've heard me say that anything plus god is the answer he puts there anything plus god there is no logic once god comes in it is the answer he puts there he can put five loaf two fish plus god equals to feeding five thousand men minus women and children alongside 12 baskets full the bible says verse 19 please he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass look what he did he took the five loaves and two fish and looking up to heaven he blessed it some versions say he gave thanks and he break it and gave the loaf to the disciples go and feed the multitudes and as they went with thanksgiving 
multiplication began to happen let me tell you this multiplication is always at the instance of genuine gratitude when you surrender everything to god when you find rest as a proof of your faith and trust in him the next thing is to begin to give thanks lord i thank you i thank you not god you gave me tea you gave me bread where is the jam to put on it uh -uh. i thank you that i have the hands to hold you know we live we live in a world where people are always conscious of what is left lord you have done this thank you we we quickly breeze it down. lord when will you bring this and he says is this your perception of my goodness even as humans there are people you will give 10 naira 100 naira and the way they tell you thank you you feel you feel very evil for giving them 100 naira you are compelled to step up that amount because that level of gratitude outweighs the benevolence it's like a debt you owe them again have you blessed someone and then he tells you 100 naira he tells you thanks 10,000 he says thanks 100,000 he says thanks 1 million he says thanks is that a wise man it took different levels of effort to produce that amount and the possibilities that those amounts can produce are not the same your thanksgiving is not complete until the benevolent person the one who gave that thanks perceives that you are grateful your thanksgiving is not as you want you keep thanking and looking at the person you are thanking until he perceives that your thanks matches his benevolence you should not stop so when you come to God for giving you life, for giving you grace, for giving you children, for giving you this, you've been complaining about a two-bedroom flat and say, Lord, thanks in one minute. And you use three hours to complain. He says, wow. But someone will hold a loaf of bread and keep it down and roll and almost roll on the bread. And God says, you are doing this for bread. You are ready for the next level. And he opens him up multiplication proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 it says trust in the lord with all your heart is the word bata it means throw yourself and expect him to hold you trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding verse verse 6 is the secret in all your ways acknowledge him one of the principal ways of acknowledging god is giving thanks to acknowledge means to ascribe worth to acknowledge means to give the person an impression of value and usefulness are we learning something this morning in all your ways acknowledge him it's one of the mysteries in the kingdom that every time you meet a wall in your life, every time you come before an obstacle, every time you feel limited at a current level, stop talking about the limitation. Turn back and draw from the archives of what God did yesterday. The only way to move forward is to look back and say, Father, thank you. When, when David stood before Goliath, he reached down to the archives of God's goodness and says, the God who delivered the bear and the lion to my hands that same god many times we forget the things that god did yesterday and we stand before our desires and we keep yelling at heaven are you not god don't bring shame to your name and so on and so forth and then god is looking at us and wondering but someone stands before god and says lord i am grateful i'm trusting god that my children will get admission my first gratitude is that i have children i never had to wait one day for a child lord i thank you and whilst you are thanking god he says don't talk about the admission issue again it was covered already in your praise that you acknowledge me your praise can spread wide enough to cover your requests Are we blessed? First it was fragrance. Listen. Then it turned to fire. My worship is my weapon. That is how. 
I will call upon the Lord who is worthy of praise. So, by that formula, shall I be saved? I will call upon him not by saying, God, come and help me. I will call upon him by praising him for what he did yesterday. And I will use it as a secret arsenal to be saved from my enemies, to triumph from one level of grace to the other. Jesus multiplied loaf by giving thanks to the Father. Watch this. I wish I had time. Did you know that even when he went to the tomb of Lazarus, when you read John 11 from verse 35 down to 45, you will find out that after weeping, he went to the tomb and he said, Father, I give thanks. So that is how the grave opens. God is speaking to someone. You are trusting God for resurrection of things that died in your life. It has to first be alive before it multiplies. But there are times that it's already dead. Your first assignment is to bring it back to life before multiplication. The same secret that brings resurrection is the same secret that brings multiplication. Thanks. Thanks. Lord, I thank you. If you thank God as much as you pray and petition God over your request, you will not need to bring many, many requests again. Father, thank you. From morning till night, can you fast and pray and your prayer project is just thanksgiving. Lord, I want to thank you. You count your blessings. You name them one by one. And the writer says it will surprise you. If you are not surprised, you are not done counting. Keep counting. Keep counting. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh, oh, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, worship his holy name. gratitude and thanksgiving in luke chapter 17 we'll not turn there for the sake of time luke chapter 17 from verse 19 the bible talks about 10 lepers are we bible students the bible talks about jesus who was passing and he met 10 lepers and they beckoned on him to have mercy upon them and he showed them mercy he said stand up go show yourself to the priest the bible says as they went suddenly they found out that the signs and the symptoms of leprosy had gone but in the midst of that the people went their way showed themselves to the priest as the lord demanded and left but there was one person pay attention there was one person who returned back it's amazing that Jesus was in a hurry passing. But then he returned back. And when he did return back, listen carefully. When he returned back, he met, the one, he met Jesus standing there. Jesus was passing. And waiting for gratitude, he remained there. And when he came, he said, were there not ten of you? What suddenly happened to the nine? And he says, since you have returned, go your way, you are cleansed. To be cleansed means that from the blood you may be healed. But to be cleansed means that wholeness comes back to your hand. Multiplication. Multiplication at the instance of genuine heartfelt gratitude. Let me show you two scriptures and then we we'll pray. Psalm 50 verse 23 psalm 50 and verse 23 psalm 50 and verse 23 he said whoso offered praise glorified me and to him that orders his conversation aright i will show the salvation of the lord whoso offered praise as a way of acknowledging me as a way of saying thank you lord for your faithfulness as a way of saying thank you lord for your goodness your mercy for all that you have done in my life he says he brings glory to me and as a result he will keep seeing my salvation he will continue to see my salvation there is no limit to a grateful man 
physically, naturally, grateful people do not remain at the same level. Believe me. Grateful people always make advancement. It's difficult to say no to a grateful person. There are many of us who have received all kinds of helps and blessings from people, from men of God, from business colleagues, from destiny helpers. And many times we forget to acknowledge them until there is another need. Then we quickly send a five minutes text, just saying, God bless you. Five minutes later, sir, just to remind you again that the rent issue is here. If you have to wait for a pastor's appreciation day or pastor's appreciation service to tell your pastor thank you, let me tell you, thanksgiving is most powerful when there seems to be no occasion for it. When there is an occasion for it, it sounds very mechanical. It looks very mechanical that one day for no reason, you come before your pastor and say, sir, I just want to appreciate you. And usually you say, oh, no, that's what is, is the... And insist and say, Pastor, please hear me just to say thank you. This is a token of my gratitude to you and to your wife. I remember when I came to this church, I came confused. The only thing I had in my life was the wisdom to find this place. I knew nothing about the principles of life. But under your leadership, under your mentorship, look what God has done. I have come to say thank you. There are many members in this church, this center, the good land, and across the entire centers. But I assure you, your thanksgiving like, like a photographer, it will edge your face to the heart of your pastor. When he sees you, he will remember you. Thanksgiving. The key to multiplication. But profitable thanksgiving, like I've taught, comes when you surrender when you find rest and then you begin to thank him thank him glorify him acknowledge him i'm not telling you what i don't do these are mysterious powerful principles we had our father yesterday talking about acknowledging god in fact i think he read from malachi chapter one malachi chapter one from verse one and two let's look at it malachi very powerful scripture instructive for the priests it says the burden of the word of the lord to israel by malachi verse two okay verse two chapter two chapter two from verse one i meant to say chapter two from verse one it says and now O ye priests this commandment is for you and he has made all of us kings and priests unto god it says if you will not hear and if you will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you and I will curse your blessings. To curse your blessings means to multiply it by zero. Greatness times zero is what? Intelligent people. Impact times zero. And zero that comes from God is real zero. There is no deliverance that can take it away. This is not a demon. I will send a curse upon you and I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already because you do not lay it to heart. You started by giving God glory. The company started increasing. You started by acknowledging the Lord and then you got to a point where now God gave you a global voice and you said, Lord, you are stealing my stage. Get out of the way. Allow me have the moment to enjoy myself. And he says, your will respected. When he steps out, just when people begin to look at you, you start going down in their presence. And they say, so why did you call us? You called us to show and to learn a lesson from you that anything minus God is zero. Please hear me. The temptation to drive God out of our success is why many people do not last. Can you stand before the whole world and get down on your knees while they are watching you and say, Jesus, this is for you. Let the world see and know. Oh, but we know that you worked hard. We know that you did this. It is unto the Lord, the praise of his majesty. 
For except the Lord builds a house. He didn't say it will not be built. He said they labor in vain. To labor in vain means to do what should produce results, but it still does not produce results. I made up my mind as a principle that I will be ever thankful, ever grateful. Psalms 30 and verse 11. Psalms 30 and verse 11. Pay attention. Psalms 30 and verse 11. Thou hast turned for me my morning into dancing. This is someone's prophecy. It says, and has put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Next verse. It says, to the end that my glory may sing praise unto thee and not be silent. O oh Lord my God, I will give thanks unto you. How long? How long? Global impact, how long? Here's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. Ah. And I will not be silent i will always worship you let it be a commitment from the depth of your heart for as long as i am breathing i will always Sing it one more time. And I will not be silent. For your goodness, for your mercy, for your faithfulness. The final key that supports thanksgiving is thoughtfulness. You never become a grateful person until you can think. The thoughtful are also the grateful. When you think of his deliverance, you think of the mercies of God. The songwriter says, when I think of the goodness of the Lord... And all that he has done for me, my very soul shall shout hallelujah. You must learn to be thoughtful. Shut your door and just sit down. Lord, this is what you have done. Thank you. You delivered me from a plane crash. Thank you. Yesterday, while we were celebrating Pastor Yemi and this that he had done, I sat back there and I saw the letter that he wrote and looking at his life and I began to think about my own life. I said, ah, but only a fool says there is no God. I still remember myself in one room. I still remember myself kneeling down before God in one room. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I will return from a meeting drenched in rain. I will climb bike and return back and say, Lord, thank you for the honor and the privilege to even serve you. To be called your servant is an honor that nothing else can take. And I did not know that heaven, my gratitude was like a student at a defense, ready for a promotion. And God says, even in the rain, you can be grateful and you can be thankful. Let's go to the next level. May God always find you on your knees. May God always find you on your knees. That whatever it is that makes you too big to roll on the floor, sincerely before God, you pile all your CAC papers. I have 26 companies. Put them all on the ground and roll before them. 
and say, Lord, I'm doing this before you. And everybody looks at you and they feel, they feel embarrassed. And sometimes they may ask you like they ask David, why are you disgracing yourself? He said, I'm dancing before the God that took the kingdom from your father and gave me. Because if he can take it from your father and give it to me, he can take it from me and give to another person. Oh, that if you will not lay it to heart to praise me, I can raise up stones. I can raise up stones. May my life never become a vacuum. May my space never, let it never be written in the space of my destiny. Empty. That is Bishop Rick, let another take. Because you have not laid it to heart to thank him. This is a powerful word for many of us. This is why for one, two years now, your influence stagnated. Your results stagnated. It's not because you are backslidden. You suddenly forgot the euphoria of the applause of men brought you to a point where it's now embarrassing to go back to the same altar that lifted you drive any relationship out of your life that makes god secondary that begins to promote you above god tell them hold on thank you for this applause but let me tell you this i am what i am today because of the sure message of the god of david and with our hands lifted up we will worship our king and with our hands lifted up we come before you rejoicing with our hands lifted up to the sky and the world wonders why we just tell them we love in our king oh we just tell them i have a few minutes before I pray for you, we are going to spend the next five minutes. I'm going to leave you alone with your creator. Please, cast your golden crown. I know that you are a veteran in business, you are a veteran in ministry. But for the next five minutes, I want to leave you here at Global Impact. I don't know whether it's a song you will sing. I don't know whether it's your tears that will do the singing. I don't know whether you will roll on the ground. But I want you to remember in one minute... The goodness and the faithfulness of God. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Go ahead and thank him. Don't be embarrassed. Let the world watch you worship him. That's how we rise in this kingdom. That's how we multiply. Oh, we acknowledge you, oh God. The doer of great things. Over Global Impact Church. Think about your life. Think about his lifting when you didn't have a job when you didn't have a spouse when you didn't have a child majesty your majesty your grace has found me just as i am empty-handed but alive in your hand majesty cry before your maker majesty majesty forever i am changed by your love in the presence of your majesty forever i am helped by your love in the presence of your majesty 
forever lifted by your love in the presence of your majesty you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you so in my life in my life be glorified be glorified in this house be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you go ahead don't be tired you're not wasting your time how can i be ashamed to tell the world you lifted me i'll be here thanking you all of the days of my life you find me here thanking you all of the days of my life no matter how much you lift me i'll be here saying thanks all of the days of my life i'll be here saying thanks all of the days of my life I praise you I praise you oh Lord I praise you I praise you oh Lord in my life Lord I see what you're doing one more time Lord I lift my hands in praise of your name I lift my hands in praise of your name Haribiti Arabata Hey la tobiju Haribiti Arabata Hey la tobiju Oluwa You are my strength when I am weak you are the treasure that I see. You are my all in all. Just one minute and we're upstanding. I'm seeking you as a precious jewel. Not to give up, I'll be a fool. You are my all in all. I lift my hands in worship as I sing glory to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name. Can you thank God in one minute for Global Impact Church? Thank God for his servant, Pastor Yemi David. And his blessed wife the leadership it takes God to come this far it takes God to come this far it takes God to last in ministry
We lift our hands to the great I am who was and who is and is to come. I bow my heart to the great I am who can compare with you thank you thank you Jesus for global impact church thank you for Pastor Yemi Davids, thank you. I had the honor to be here when it was just foundation. God's servant led me through the span of this space. I saw it. Just foundation. But look what God has done today. Oh, come let us adore him. Will you come let us adore him? Oh, oh, come let us adore him, Christ the Lord. For you alone art faithful. For you alone art faithful. For you alone art faithful, oh, Christ the Lord. Dependable dependable God it doesn't matter what comes my way you are still God intentional intentional God everything is working out for my good you are good you are good Jesus my God you are so good to me hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. you are so good to me Jesus, you are faithful to me. In all circumstances, oh, oh, oh. Father. If ever we are tempted to think it's a waste to cry before you, if ever we are tempted to think it's ego stinging to roll before your presence, teach us again the wisdom of gratitude and the power that it provides as far as multiplying results is concerned. Lord, tonight, it's an honor to lead your people as we present to you everything that has refused to grow we present to you our finances we present to you our families we present to you our conditions we present to you the lack of promotion we present to you the joblessness we put everything in our alabaster box and we break it before you and father we declare that in your presence the same way the rod of Aaron without a root and not connected to the earth it's still bordered for everyone who has given you thanks and praise Lord beginning from today beginning from this morning this afternoon let there be strange multiplication in their lives 
some of you it will be an avalanche you are stepping into strange levels of financial overflows i speak to you by the spirit i know when he speaks to me for some of you god is saying you have you have rolled away the reproach in your life by rolling before me that reproach is taken from your life forever for some of you you have rolled away causes ordinances of divination that have seemed to peg everyone around your family for some of you you have joined God's servant to roll on the ground before God to kneel on the ground to bow your heart to be in a state of reverence before God I pray for you whatever must shift in your life we shift it now whatever must be taken out from your life for you to rise i declare it taken out now if god builds this church may he build your house if god if god built this church may he build your reputation may he build your influence may he build your business may he build your ministry may he build your family may he build your children the building started and it did not finish if god was alpha omega over this house then i declare if he has started as alpha in your life may he also be omega every uncompleted project in your life physical building relationships destiny ministry the grace for completion the finisher's anointing may it rest upon you now the same way your pastor lived to see this project you will never start anything and leave it halfway in death now i speak to everything that has refused to grow in the name of jesus one of the characteristics of living things is that they grow whatever has refused to grow i bow my knees before this altar and i command it grow now grow now for every door that needs to be opened every gate for your next level i speak to it Efata, be open now. Efata, be open now. Gates of influence, be open now. Gates of speed, be open now. Gates of abundance, be open now. Please rise up on your feet. May it never be said you had a better yesterday and hear me please for everyone who has contributed in partnership with the holy spirit to make this project a reality i cannot but speak over your life everyone i know that people have labored in prayer people have sown seeds and are still sowing seeds into this project i stand in faith with pastor yemi david and his dear wife the leadership and in the name of Jesus under this corporate anointing we declare that hand that gave is the hand that will hold what multiplies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father from today and forever may this church and everyone connected to this grace now and as many as the Lord will bring everything in and around your life begins to multiply exponential multiplication that the testimonies that will begin to be shared from this altar will be testimonies of strange multiplication in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I have two minutes and I'm off the stage there are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying apostle I desire multiplication but I'm not even alive to myself I know that whilst attending this conference I have heard speaker after speaker 
but I know that I need Jesus Christ. I do not want to just get things and at the end of my life lose my soul. You came to church and those who are saying, Apostle, I love Jesus, but for some reason my life has gone haywire. I do not want this conference to end without my life experiencing order. Wherever you are, we just have one minute for you. We have to work with time. Please, wherever you are, I'm going to count one to five. Jesus is speaking to you. While we were worshiping for you, he was saying the only way you will tell me thank you is to hand over your entire life to my influence. Wherever you are, as I count one to five, finally win that war. I'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain. These two categories of people, I'd like you to come and stand in front. If you are coming, run quickly. One. Global impact, are we celebrating salvation? Two. Run to Jesus. Don't allow anybody to stop you. Three. I give you my heart, Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Keep coming. Don't be ashamed. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take. Please don't kneel because of space. Have your way. Global impact starts with global harvest. And you who are following from any nation, any center, watching or will be watching by way of internet, television, hear the word of the Lord. He's calling you to start a rich and a meaningful relationship. From where you are, you can begin a genuine relationship with Jesus. The Bible declares that if our hope is only in this life, it says we are of all men most miserable. You are here, you are still saying, Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. Join them. If you are not sure, it's a sign that you are not saved. I appreciate all of you, my dear brothers and sisters. It's an honor to stand on behalf of Pastor Yemi Davids to receive you and welcome you to the kingdom and then to this family of faith. Now, very quickly, I want to lead you to make this noble decision. Look up, please, everybody. Let me have your attention. The Bible says, ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. That after this encounter, you will never forget this day. You will write this day and for the rest of your life, you will know and you will believe from your heart that you made Jesus Lord. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Please lift your right hand high to the heavens and I want you to say this after me. You're not reciting a poem. Jesus, the King and the Savior is here. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. He's here for you. Say, Lord Jesus, I have heard your word. I believe that you are Savior. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for my justification right now. I declare that Jesus is my Savior, is my Lord, is my King. I declare that I am a recipient of eternal life into my spirit. The power of sin, the power of Satan, the power of hell and the grave is broken over my life. I receive the abundance of grace the gift of righteousness and I declare that from today till forever I am a child of God amen keep those hands lifted father we thank you for these ones you have brought them by your spirit by the authority of scripture I declare your sins forgiven I declare that you are partakers of the life of God and in the name of Jesus, I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit that you will be built, you will be established in righteousness until you become mighty vessels for the kingdom. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you in Jesus' name. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. 
do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.